Oregon agriculture owes a great deal to friends in high places. State legislators who understand the needs and challenges of farmers and ranchers are important allies in supporting ag-friendly laws and policies. State Representative Bob Jensen has a history of putting agriculture's best interests first, and as the House's most senior member, continues to fight in Salem for those things that keep Oregon agriculture viable. Born in Nebraska, Bob's family settled in Montana when his father got a job as a foreman on a big cattle ranch. His mom's side of the family were sheep ranchers from South Dakota. Growing up in big sky country provided him an appreciation for the great outdoors and the natural resources that sustain timber and agriculture. That background proved to be helpful many years later. When Bob got out of the Air Force, he went to college at Montana State to pursue an ag economics degree from a very prestigious program at MSU. About the only thing available to ag economists with a bachelor's degree at the time was working for the Extension Service. Not sure that was for him, Bob began teaching at Helena High School while getting a master's. Soon he heard about an opening at a community college in Pendleton, Oregon. After an interview at Blue Mountain Community College, in which he was sure he would not come back, he says the college president conned him into taking the job after Bob conned the president into paying him more money. Bob taught at BMCC for 26 years before retiring. In the meantime, he had raised a family, saw a fifth generation Jensen join the clan, and married Evelyn in the early 1970s. He also ran unsuccessfully as a Democrat for state representative against a popular Republican. That might have been the end of any career as a lawmaker for Bob, but he got a call while traveling cross country in an RV with Evelyn, urging him to run again in a race with no incumbent. Bob became the first Democrat since the late 1940s to be elected to a House seat from that district. The Democrats in Salem were not pleased when Bob switched parties in 1999, but to his constituents, the change in party wasn't as important as the fact that Bob was still committed to working hard for all of his constituents. So a retired teacher was now starting a new career as a politician. Over the past 16 years, Bob Jensen has not only served House District 58 well, he has served the entire agriculture industry with distinction. In many cases, the issues important to Umatilla County agriculture are important to agriculture all across Oregon. No issue is more critical to Eastern Oregon farmers and ranchers as water, and Bob has been instrumental in bringing about meaningful water legislation that ultimately helps producers and the area's economic base. Perhaps his most significant achievement is getting House Bill 3369 passed, which pumps water out of the Columbia River during the winter months to recharge shallow aquifers so that water can be used again during the summer for irrigation. Also during the summer, some of the aquifer goes back into the Umatilla River to provide an in-stream benefit. It simply is Oregon's only major water legislation in recent history, and it's good for the Columbia River Basin economy. Representative Jensen has also been involved in other key ag issues, including the relatively recent controversy over wolves and budget challenges faced by Oregon's natural resource agencies. His style has been to work with all groups, including tribes and the environmental community. He understands that compromises sometimes need to be reached to move important issues forward. But in the end, agriculture has been a huge beneficiary of Bob Jensen's legislative efforts. Bob and Evelyn still find time to do some relaxing, if you can call traveling as something relaxing. Even a trip down memory lane in Montana. Bob is still an avid sportsman with plenty of fishing stories. Bob continues to be a friend of agriculture, an outspoken supporter of Oregon's natural resource agencies, and a champion for his house district as well as all counties of Oregon in which ag is important. We honor Bob Jensen tonight for all his contributions. Individual contribution to agriculture, Representative Bob Jensen. I know that Representative Jensen, just like I am, is very pleased that the February session is now over. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Katie, and Department of Agriculture. I think one picture that you should have seen there uh, in the presentation maybe describes where some of my passion for agriculture and working with agriculture came from. And that was the picture of the coyote pelts. Uh, I was raised on a, a farm, a ranch. And uh, before we knew that there was a chance that some of these animals might become extinct if you weren't careful, uh, the coyote was pretty much a sworn enemy of a, at that time we were on a sheep ranch. And uh, it, uh, it just seemed like a, you know, natural sort of thing to do. The privilege, the pleasure, the honor that I've had in serving people of this district and of the state of Oregon to try to help advance in the legislature some of our agricultural uh, industries. Uh, I can't describe to you how f rewarding and fulfilling it has been for me. Been a lot of disappointments. There's still some major battles left to fight, uh, but we look forward to doing them. And one thing uh, uh, thank you for I have four children, and all of them live in the immediate area, but this is a real red-letter night for me because it's not often that I get all four of them with their spouses together uh, for an evening, and uh, they're all here uh, tonight, and I hats off to them, and a major hats off to my wife, Evelyn. She's the one who tells me where to go, when to go, what to say, and when to come back. Uh, and uh, as long as I follow her instructions, I get along pretty well. It's when I start trying to ad-lib that I get in trouble. So she told me when I came up, be brief. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>